Good afternoon. 2B1CQ again. Just decided to go through bits and pieces I receive either through social media or uh, emails and, and everything else. And um, I don't normally talk about um, GMRS, General Mobile Radio Service, I think that's actually called. I'll just quickly look up on another device. Yeah, General Mobile Radio Service, basically not available here in the UK. It's the American equivalent, I would say, of our PMR. Also, it's slightly uh, different power output. GMR radio, GMRS uh, radio frequency is in the UF, UHF uh, portion of the radio spectrum on 462 megahertz to 467 megahertz this particular radio can receive i do believe from 400 megahertz to 480 so it will receive the 70 sems portion of amateur radio what it would actually receive as regards to the 70 sem side of it in the states i'm not too sure i'm not too sure what the 70 sems coverage is in the states but let's have a look at the radio it does actually look quite look like an, a nice looking radio to be quite honest with you 40 watt maximum i do believe it's up to 50 watts for gmrs over in the states also according to some information i received on on google some users only use up to about five watts but i'm not too sure the accuracy of of that but let's have a look at the radio This is at a 48 watt maximum. It is a license. There is a license requirement uh, from the FCC in the States. 169 channels. Dual watch display. So you're going to have two, as it's got on the screen there, you can have um, two frequencies. So you've got a couple of repeaters in the area that you can actually listen to. Uh, you've got one repeater or you've got another one you want to talk to your mates on that uh, you would actually receive dual watch display so it would actually pick up the, the, the strongest station and monitor basically two frequencies there you go disclaimer there's obviously no license required to purchase the radio but obviously to use it in the in, in the states it does require a license so always keep yourself legal that price you see there because i'm using my my, my ipad it's converted it in, into uh pound sterling and that's not necessarily true because we can't obviously get it over here because we don't have gmrs as far as i know it's 179.99 dollars so we'll look through a couple of pictures does that look quite nice radio itself 169 fully modified channels what did i say earlier on i can't remember now what i said through the video so pardon me on that one my power gmrs multifunctioning microphone dual display watch let's have a look at the specifications there you go receive 400 and 400 megahertz to 480 high power is 40 watts medium is 20 watts and low is 5 watts usual 50 ctc ss codes and 104 dcs wider narrow band options timeout display the usual stuff what you get in the box as you can see down there and obviously a user manual one good uh, review there by somebody from sam db40 does all it's stated it would is really pleased with its construction and performance runs at 24 7 in his rv 
and it sews in well so that's not too, that's not too bad it's at the moment it's got 4.5 so I'm not too sure that's any good or not but uh, I'll leave it to you guys in the States to uh, have a look at that I have actually set up a Facebook group for this reason for it is I do have another Facebook group for um, TID Radio um, the H TH3 is it with the H3 and the H8 and I do allow GMRS users to come in on that one as well so it's all part of the radio community more than welcome to join I'll put the link on the video in the description ah there it is 199 channels 169 are fully modified so I'm not too sure what that actually means whether it's actually pre-configured or not I'm not too sure but have a look so I'll include a link to Radio Oddity in the video as well. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Hope it's been uh, useful for you. 2E1CEQ, Radio Ham. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. 73s.